What is a brain tumor? Brain tumors uh, come in all varieties. That's a very frightening uh, diagnosis to have. Um, patients uh, may either present with symptoms, which include uh, headaches, seizures, uh, neurologic deficits, uh, pressure symptoms, um, and then a scan is obtained, and that's the either a CT scan, usually in involves contrast material, or an MRI scan uh, with and without contrast. And these are the two preferred uh, diagnostic tools to uh, uh, tell, tell us everything we need to know about a brain tumor and what, what type of brain tumor it is and the, the course of treatment from, from there on. Um, so um, when faced with a diagnosis of brain tumor, of course, uh, it's very frightening for the patient. Um, but all brain tumors are, are not terrible uh, news. There are um, a number of brain tumors that are benign brain tumors that can be removed very safely and result in uh, a cure, a virtual cure of, of, the, of, the, of the problem for the rest of the patient's life. And um, these include the benign tumors such as uh, meningiomas or uh, acoustic neuromas there are other ones called colloid cysts or, or other benign tumors that arise from um, um, brain elements or brain cells that grow in a slow but steady um, progression. And these, if removed completely, can uh, result in a cure of that lesion. The uh, other uh, types of tumors can be uh, malignant, um, and uh, these are generally ones uh, called the gliomas or astrocytomas. They can be benign or malignant. And uh, oligodendrogliomas are another type of brain tumor that can be benign or malignant. And uh, ependymomas and other uh, brain tumors of this type uh, can be discovered. Um, and the appropriate therapy um, can be determined. And that's usually based on um, the CT or MRI characteristics and uh, the results of the, the biopsy or removal of the tissue. Now, even in patients with uh, more aggressive tumors or ones on the more malignant side, um, adjuvant uh, radiation therapy and chemotherapy um, can be helpful in controlling symptoms for a long period of time. And other factors such as the particular subtype of the tumor, age of the patient, other patient factors uh, can weigh in on uh, whether a tumor uh, has a good long-term uh, survival outlook versus a, a short survival. But uh, the first thing to do is to uh, you know, get the imaging study and see a, a neurologist or a neuro-oncologist or a neurosurgeon who um, has a lot of experience with brain tumors to decide what the best uh, course of uh, treatment is. But uh, as I mentioned, uh, there are a large number of brain tumors that are benign and are successfully removed with surgery and or radiosurgery or conventional radio, radiation treatment uh, to aid in the treatment of these lesions. Some of the warning signs are, for example, a new onset seizure in an adult that's never had a seizure before is a warning sign that uh, there could be a brain tumor present, not necessarily a brain tumor, but um, uh, what we kind of say in the medical profession, it's a brain tumor until proven otherwise. So we would get imaging studies to uh, uh, immediately, if someone's never had a seizure before, all of a sudden had one uh, in, in adulthood. Um, a progressive uh, neurologic uh, deficit, in other words, something like speech or motor power that keeps getting progressively worse um, and is unexplained. Uh, that patient uh, is usually uh, brought and get to a, to a CT or MRI scanner uh, where a diagnosis is either made or ruled out by obtaining those scans. Most brain tumors are not hereditary. Uh, there are certain uh, subtypes that uh, are more uh, prone um, uh, to occur in certain families, and uh, there are certain uh, Diseases, for example, neurofibromatosis, which is a 
multiple tumors of, of, the, of, the, of the neural uh, uh, tissue um, and, uh, and uh, peripheral nerves occur at the cranial nerves that come out uh, at the base of the brain and this can be a hereditary uh, syndrome which is associated with uh, multiple brain tumors of different types and so there are hereditary types of brain tumors but the majority uh, just uh, are, occur uh, de novo and are probably due to some kind of genetic mutation or, or combination of multiple genetic mutations that go on to form a tumor that is either then benign or malignant. The treatments of, of brain tumors uh, most commonly include uh, either a, a surgical removal and or a biopsy. Uh, sometimes we can do this through a small needle biopsy that's uh, uh, put through a small hole in the brain and has a device that leads right to it and a piece is taken. Or open surgical removal is an opening uh, in the vicinity of the tumor and then the tumor is removed and then is examined pathologically um, at the time that it's removed and then processed later. So these are the two types of uh, uh, diagnostic procedures that we're, where we receive tissue and are able to determine the exact type of tumor. And then that determines whether um, uh, in cases where a tumor is benign, it's completely removed, there would not be any follow-up therapy such as chemotherapy or radiation, whereas other tumors that uh, are on the more aggressive side may be followed up with radiation or chemotherapy depending on uh, what tumor type uh, is found. The success rate of uh, tumor surgery is extremely high in obtaining tissue, uh, reducing the mass effect uh, in the brain depend even, no matter what type of tumor it is, and obtaining a diagnosis and then uh, developing a treatment plan from there. And as I mentioned in benign tumors, um, that are completely removed. Uh, most patients will experience a normal lifespan without any shortening of their life. Um, and in other more aggressive tumors, um, it, it goes across the spectrum where the, you know, the survival is uh, on the matter of years, uh, s several years, uh, with uh, a combination of surgery and uh, radiation and chemotherapy. However, there are many, many types of brain tumors, so it's important to find out uh, the exact type and go through the, the diagnostic procedures and then the, the treatment planning to determine what course of treatment is the best. Bottom line is uh, all brain tumors are, are treatable in some way and most are, um, uh, have a favorable uh, treatment outcome, especially in the benign tumor uh, category. Um, and so it's important to find out exactly what type of tumor we're dealing with and the imaging helps to give us a, a, a high probability of, of, of um, determining the tumor type based on the imaging characteristics and then helps us in surgical planning and obtaining the tissue to find out exactly what t type of tumor is present and exactly what the proper treatment plan should be.